ready for the launch of a lifetime as the Dream Chaser spacecraft is completed and prepped for its first mission. NASA's latest creation is set to make headlines, and this video will take you behind the scenes for an exclusive look at the engineering marvel that is Dream Chaser. But that's not all, we'll also delve into the mind-boggling advancements in future propulsion technology that have the space agency absolutely buzzing. From futuristic concepts to cutting-edge prototypes, NASA never fails to push the boundaries of exploration. Buckle up, space enthusiasts, because the Dreambox Arrowhead Shoot Heart Pursuer Chase is about to become a reality like never before. Don't miss out on this incredible video. The space plane is back. All will be revealed in today's episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. S Dream Chaser is a leap forward in space technology heralded as the world's sole commercial runway capable space plane. Supported by a substantial contract from NASA to resupply the International Space Station, after decades of planning technical expertise and meticulous testing, its first test article has now officially been completed, signaling a significant step towards realizing the vision of CR Space, the company directly responsible for manufacturing this Dream Space vehicle. The venerable Dream Chaser has taken a step closer to its highly anticipated main flight, which is planned for April next year, a moment long awaited by space enthusiasts. For the first time on May 31st, the company announced that it had powered up the space plane in its assembly facility, feeding electrical power into the vehicle that in space would be generated by its solar panels and turning on flight computers and other components. This is a milestone that points to the future and is a key moment in a long journey for Dream Chaser, said Tom Vice Chief Executive of CR Space in a statement about the test. The test will come as the company prepares to ship the first Dream Chaser called Tenacity to NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio, the former Plumbrook station in the coming weeks. The agency will conduct the vehicle test over a period ranging from one to three months. During this time, engineers will test the space plane's ability to withstand the vibrations and acoustics of a rocket launch, as well as the temperature extremes it will experience during flight. The space plane will be placed inside a giant thermal vacuum chamber before shipping to Cape Canaveral for final launch preparations. Sierra Space did not disclose a schedule for those milestones. Speaking during a panel at the 38th Space Symposium in April, Jenna Cavand, president of Sierra Space, said Dream. Chaser would ship to the test facility in the July time frame. She said the vehicle would be tested there for a few months before shipping to Florida. We should be ready to go by the end of this year, she said of launch plans for Dream Chaser. At its Colorado headquarters, the first Dream Chaser spacecraft designed to enter orbit is taking on an outward appearance. Its folding wings and fuselage are covered with custom tiles to shield the spacecraft's composite structure from the scorching heat of re-entry into our atmosphere. It has a landing section and technicians will go around the vehicle to complete the finishing stages before it departs the factory. Inside the spacecraft, workers are installing the final pipes for the environmental control system which will help maintain a pressurized environment inside the Dream Chaser for astronauts. At the ISS, Dream Chaser's current role is at least for now transporting cargo to and from the research complex orbiting Earth about 385 kilometers away. It will launch a top by conventional rocket, maneuver in space like a satellite, and then land on a runway. Facing the production floor, Sierra Space has set up a mission control room where engineers will monitor and command the spacecraft while it's in orbit. At the end of the hallway, there's a mock-up model for astronauts to train on how to board the Dream Chaser, as well as pack and unpack cargo when it docks at the station. Hundreds of workers took a short time pause to receive congratulations from the leaders at Sierra Space. Dream Chaser is that revolutionary product. What do you say to a group of people who have actually done all the work, who have put in the hours, who have put in the blood, sweat, and tears to make something like this happen other than just to say things? You guys have been standing there. We're almost done with everything, Angie Wise, Sierra Space's chief safety officer said. We're finishing all the closeout panels. We're essentially getting it ready for shipping. We checked out the landing gear, we're going to put everything back in, stow it, and then move it on a transport fixture and get it out of here. NASA engineers are reviewing Sierra Space data products, and government and contractor teams are performing joint tests to ensure it's safe for Dream Chaser to approach the space station. Home to seven people. Why said Sierra Space is in phase three of NASA's three part safety review process. Undeniably, Dream Chaser is a neat spacecraft, and its story is quite remarkable. It embodies a vision of the future of space travel, 
drawing inspirations from the dawn of the space age and combining elements of rockets and airplanes. Therefore, Dream Chaser's tenacity boasts distinctive features unlike any traditional spacecraft. Its compact size, measuring 30 feet or 9 meters in length, emphasizes a commitment to efficiency without compromising functionality. The incorporation of folding wings further enhances its adaptability, allowing Dream Chaser to be stowed inside a 5-meter payload fairing during launch. This feature not only reduces ascent loads but also protects against debris, making the space plane significantly more flexible and versatile. The space plane boasts the lifting body design demonstrated during a successful test flight over the California desert, enabling autonomous deployment of landing gear and precise touchdown on runways. An embodiment of the space plane's adaptability. Adding to Dream Chaser's capability is the introduction of the Shooting Star Cargo Module, a testament to Sierra Space's commitment to efficient cargo transport. This flexible 15-ton module serves as an attachment to the Dream Chaser space plane, enhancing its cargo carrying capacity and expanding its utility for various mission profiles. With the help of Shooting Star, Dream Chaser can deliver up to 12,000 pounds of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to lower orbits, underscoring its versatility and contribution to future space logistics. Furthermore, Dream Chaser tenacity features a state-of-the-art heat shield, representing a significant leap forward from the space shuttle program. Sierra's space engineers have employed modern manufacturing techniques to enhance this strength and reduce the cost of thousands of thermal protection system tiles. These tiles, measuring 10 inches by 10 inches, are not only larger but also stronger and lighter than their shuttle counterparts. The use of innovative materials and manufacturing methods aim to improve reliability and ease of refurbishment. Addressing challenges is encountered during the shuttle era. This commitment to technological advancement in the heat shield of Sierra's space ensures safe entry, descent and runway landings for both crewed and cargo missions aboard Dream Chaser Tenacity. The commercial space flight industry may not be too focused on space planes as companies race to design fully reusable rockets. But space planes do have the advantage of a smooth landing on their way back down to Earth. In terms of those exact advantages, space planes offer safety, efficiency, operational flexibility and potential for future commercial opportunities. For its debut flight, Tenacity will ride atop ULA's Vulcan Centaur rocket. The space plane is scheduled for the rocket's second mission, although Vulcan is yet to fly for the first time due to several delays. The space plane is tentatively slated for an April launch, but that still depends on the rocket's first test flight. The Dream Chaser team will be watching closely as United Launch Alliance launches its first Vulcan rocket, a mission now slated for December. In the future, Sierra Space also wants to launch crewed Trag and Dream Chaser missions to its space station, as opposed to the Orbital Reef Space Station which is designing in collaboration with Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, a relationship that appears to be in doubt. In summary, if everything unfolds smoothly as planned and Dream Chaser succeeds, it will be a significant milestone. The space industry envisions a potentially transformative impact. On space transportation The success of Dream Chaser could mark the revival of regular space plane missions, a concept not witnessed since the space shuttle ceased operations in 2011. Furthermore, Dream Chaser's success may foster collaboration and partnership within the industry, as Sierra Space demonstrates the viability of its spacecraft. Other entities may seek to leverage similar technologies, promoting innovation and competition. In turn, this could lead to a more dynamic and robust space industry ecosystem, driving advancements in exploration and space transportation. A bright future awaits this Dream spacecraft. Where will it go? Let's wait and see together. Some latest exciting news, SpaceX is edging closer to becoming a comprehensive aerospace contractor. Renowned for its vertical integration, SpaceX had been subcontracting parachute production until recently when it discreetly purchased Pioneer Aerospace following its parent company's insolvency. In an uncommon maneuver, SpaceX bought out one of its vendors for $2.2 million, subsequent to the parachute manufacturer's Chapter 11 filing earlier this month. Aviation Safety Resources, or ASR for short, Pioneer's parent firm sought Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in Florida's Middle District on November 1. ASR took over Pioneer Aerospace from Saffron Electronics and Defense in June of 2022. Pioneer, headquartered in Connecticut, has been designing parachutes for space and various applications for decades. 
Its portfolio includes parafoils designed in the 1960s for potential Gemini spacecraft use. Parachutes employed in Mars lander missions and the OSIRIS RX sample return capsule. Additionally, it supplied drogue chutes for SpaceX's Crew Dragon and its cargo variant. On November 9, Pioneer Aerospace submitted an asset purchase agreement to the bankruptcy court, outlining SpaceX's acquisition of most Pioneer ASR for $2.2 million. This encompassed intellectual property related to drag chutes and drogue chutes, notably the SPX-000432 drogue chute. The sale received approval from the bankruptcy court on November 22. SpaceX's swiftness stems from its persistent drive to handle in-house production since its inception. This practice reduces reliance on external suppliers. When subcontractors are involved, it signifies the component's exceptional significance, and SpaceX is yet to develop an in-house alternative that surpasses it. Crafting parachutes capable of enduring such extreme velocities poses the true challenge. Both SpaceX and Boeing, the other company with a NASA commercial crew contract, encounter challenges in developing parachutes for their spacecraft, facing test setbacks along the way. Even after deployment, there were instances of lagging parachutes that opened later than anticipated without posing a safety risk. Parachutes turned out to be way more challenging than we anticipated, remarked Phil McAllister, director of NASA's Commercial Space Flight Division, during a presentation on lessons learned from the commercial crew program. We thought we've mastered parachutes during Apollo. How difficult could it be? It could be immensely difficult. Space is inherently tough, but the creation of space parachutes is significantly tougher. Echoed Abhi Tripathi, director of mission operations at UC Berkeley Space Sciences Laboratory, in an interview. It's among the most daunting tasks akin to developing an exceedingly complex propulsion system. Tripathi, with experience at SpaceX as director of Dragon missions and in-flight reliability, in nearly a decade at NASA, as a lead aerospace systems engineer, spoke about SpaceX's practices. He offered insights into CEO Elon Musk's decisions on outsourcing noting Musk's evaluation criteria, which involves supplier competence and adherence to delivery schedules. According to the information, Tripathi explained that if either criterion falls short, SpaceX considers internal production and integration of the component into its product line. The intricate nature of manufacturing technically advanced low-volume products presents challenges for rapid replication, especially within the tight timeframes required for SpaceX Dragons. Certification Although SpaceX actively participated in engineering the drogue chutes and conducted extensive in-house testing, manufacturing complexities led to external collaborations with Pioneer and Airborne. Tripathi emphasized that parachute creation leans more towards art than pure science, underlining the criticality of exhaustive testing and a dedicated test program. A meticulous approach becomes pivotal in comprehending weaknesses within the system. SpaceX initially established by Musk in 2002 for rocket development and launches swiftly expanded into low-Earth orbit, or LEO, resupply missions with NASA. Now it offers commercial crewed space flights, satellite internet, and satellite manufacturing. SpaceX's most recent acquisition, Swarm, in 2021, facilitated Starlink's provision of cell service with T-Mobile. Presently, SpaceX has an opportunity to diversify into parachute systems. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time. By the way, are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the TalkTalk Talk app, here down below.